Now, in front of you is Federal B and Josiah. And we are ready to present to you the 19th fundamental belief. You are in fundamental belief number 19. And before we start, maybe we'll pray. Josiah, do you want to pray? I pray? Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Please help us to learn of you today because we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, children, the fundamental belief number 19 is the law of God. The law of God. Do we have rules at home? We do. Do you have a rule at home, Josiah? Yes. Like what? Sharing. Sharing. It's good that you share. share. So now we are going to find out what is this law of God? What is this law of God? Because it's the 19th fundamental belief. What is this law of God? So remember, the law of God is the 10 commandments. It's a guidebook that guides us with our life, with God first and with each other. Okay. Now there's a set of 10 commandments but grouped into two. The first group tells us our relationship with God. It protects our relationship with who? God. With God. And there are four of them. So we are going to name 10 of them. Is 10 a big number? No. Is it a big number? No, it's not a big number. So let's start. Number one. Law no, number one. one. Let, what is it, Jessica? It is I am. I am, I am the Lord, Lord thy God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What does this say? That God is our best friend. God is our best friend. Friend. And he wants us to be close and close to him, isn't it? Yes. And what is commandment number two? Who can tell us? Tell Skyla to tell us commandment number two. Give her the microphone. Commandment number two. Thou shall not make to thee any graven image. Wow. That means you shall not make any idols. Did you know if you spend so much time with your PS and you have no time for God? Idolatry. Did you know if you spend so much time doing something that gives you so much joy, but you can't spend time with God? It is not a good thing. God wants us to spend time with Him. And what is commandment number three? Can Lisa tell us the commandment number three? The commandment number three says, Thou shalt not take my name in vain. Wow. Do you know what that means? How many are kikuyus in the house? Guy, guy, guy. Guy. More than me. Yeah. Eh. What did they say? Yeah, Rabbi. As from course, they say, Yeah, Rabbi. That is not good. Is it good? No. When you say, Jesus Christ. Is it good? No. No, because you don't pay respect to him. You are saying it for our own excitement and entertainment. Even when you say, Mungu nifundishe kunyamaza, is that a good thing? No. No, you are entertaining yourself. And God is holy. How, how mighty and strong is it? Is God so strong? So strong. My God is so big and so strong. And so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And his name is very holy. So when I want to talk to Jesus, I put my hands together, I, I bow my head, I and close, close my, my eyes, eyes and, and I'm ready to talk to Jesus. Yes, you should have respect for God. God. Josiah, do you know commandment number four about the Sabbath? No. About the Sabbath, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the okay, Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it shall thy do no work. 
Dai no dai san no dai dota no dai med sava no dai man sava no dai stranger that is in thy gates. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in it, and rested the Sabbath day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Amen. Sabbath is very holy and it is a happy day. Do you love Sabbath? Yes. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Wow. So these four commandments protect our relationship with God, isn't it? If we follow the commandments, it means we love who? God. Now there are six more commandments remaining. What is commandment number five, Josiah, about obeying your parents? Obey your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land which the Lord gives you. Amen. Do you obey mommy and daddy? Yes. Do you listen to mommy and daddy? Yes. Yes, you are a good and obedient boy, and we love you very much. Okay? Yes. And now we go to commandment number... Number who is following? Five. Number six. six. Number six. Who can tell us commandment number six? Go to Peter. Peter there. If Peter. Commandment number six says, thou shalt not kill. Wow. Thou shalt not kill. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Do you know what Jesus says? If you make me angry, you have killed me. You are guilty of murder. So we should not make people angry or harm others or hurt them because you are guilty of breaking commandment number six. We should always strive to make each other happy, happy. isn't it? Would you like it if everybody was happy in the world? Yes. It would be amazing. Yes. Yes. And then now we go to commandment number seven. Wangeshi can tell us commandment number seven. Commandment number seven. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yes, thou shalt not commit adultery. Children, do you know what this means? It means that daddy and mommies should be very faithful to each other. Okay, very faithful to each other. Ada, would you like it if I go and get another daddy? Yes. You would! <laughs> Do you want me to get another daddy? No. You love your daddy? Yes. And if daddy goes and gets another mommy? No. You love your mommy? Yes. yes. And so, come daddy, come, come. Come daddy, yes. This commandment tells us that daddy and mommy should love each other. Okay. Yes. And we work together to each other's happiness. I love you, Baba Josiah. Okay. Have it. And now let's go to commandment number. Number? Okay. Who will tell us commandment number eight? It's Abraham. Yes. Say Abraham, thou shalt not steal. Commandment number eight. eight says, Thou shalt not steal. Do you know what stealing is? Yes. What is stealing? Stealing mm -hmm. is something that is not belong to you. Yes, if you take something that does not belong to you without permission. Sure. If you need something, what do you say? Please. Please, can I have your pen? Oh, please, can I have your toy? You don't have to steal it. If we don't steal, we live happily with each other, isn't it? Would you be, how, many, how many people's doors are open right now and they are in church? And they are open because nobody will steal from them. Wouldn't it be amazing if you just walk out of your house without caring? God wants us to live like that. Okay. Okay, children. And children of the most high. 
Okay, so we go to commandment number nine. Who will give us commandment number nine? Wakesho. Commandment number nine, thou shall not bear false witness. Yes, thou shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. What does that mean? Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not lie. Does mommy and daddy like it when you lie? No. No, because lying is not a good thing, isn't it? Yes. Yes, we should always tell the... We should always tell the... Because the truth shall... Amen. And then we are going to commandment number two. Ten. Who will give us commandment number 10? Brilliant. Commandment number 10 says, Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's servants, his property, or anything that belongs to him. Do you know what coveting is? It is to want things that don't belong to you. If you see somebody with a big, nice talk, do you have to have it? No. No, you don't have to have it. Sometimes mommy and daddy don't have the money to buy you those things. So what do you say? You, you pray. You pray and you tell God, please help me to get what I want. Help me to work hard so I can get what I want, isn't it? Yes. yes, and if we teach our children not to covet now, in the next um, 20, 30 years, no. there'll be no corruption, yes. isn't it? Because they wouldn't want other people's things, isn't it? Yes. How many commandments did we say? Ten. How many did we say? Ten. Ten. Were they too many? No. They were not. Are we able to keep them? Yes. If we do what? We trust in? God. God can help us. Do you trust in God, Josiah? Yes. What does Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to say? To five, five, 5 to 6 say? Trust. trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Amen. God can help us to keep all his commandments, okay? And we live as a happy, happy family. With Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Wow, thank you, Credible Beans and Josiah, for telling today's story. Okay, maybe Daddy can pray with us. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your commandments because they are a token of your precious love. As we go, we pray that you'll help us to be good children who love you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, children, let's meet again next Sabbath, same place same time and learn about the purpose of these laws that we have learned today, okay? Yeah. But for now it's bye! bye.